Hi, I'm Furkan, and I'm developing a football game using my own game engine. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I implemented a physics-based character animation system, which is an update to the procedural one. Initially, I have implemented a procedural animation system. I also added dribbler mechanics on top of it, and it worked great to some degree. I had already planned to develop a physics-based system before implementing anything, but I didn't know that I would need it this early. When I started to extend the procedural animation system with hand movements for the goalkeeper mechanics, it immediately looked like it's going to be a waste of time. Because at first, a goalkeeper requires jumping, and it would be ridiculous if I tried to procedurally create keyframes for each limb while the character jumps and lands. That made me think, I need to create a system that simulates the whole body so it can walk, run, and jump. With this foundation, swinging hands or any limb would be more reasonable to implement. After deciding what I needed to do, I started to research, which has been pretty time-consuming and exhausting. With each new information I got, I needed to evaluate the possible implementations in my mind. I started with the first thing that comes to my mind, which is self-balancing devices. For example, a self-balancing scooter. They try to reposition the center of mass of the system to align with its support contact surface. That means, when you lean in, the system goes forward to put you back. The relation between center of mass and center of support has become the key of all my work. Then I started to think about how to involve humans in this process. Another device came to my mind, which is humanoid robots. I looked to them in detail for how they solve the self-balancing of a more complex device. There was lots of research and development for biomechanics. In short, they were also related to repositioning the center of mass of the system while standing and walking. After mechanical devices, I decided to look at how actual humans self-balance itself. I tried to learn how skeletal muscles work. It gave me a great perspective for implementing a muscle-like system in a software. The change of the muscle length over time by signaling was the key for how I could apply the balance forces to the joints of the body. Then I looked online to see if there are any muscle-based animation systems. There were a handful of systems, from scientific research to game frameworks. My main reference was from a paper, Flexible Muscle-Based Locomotion for Bipedal Creatures, by Thomas Kuytenbeck. They got perfect results by simulating lots of skeletal muscles. I needed stability and usability. That means I didn't have to simulate all the skeletal muscles with high accuracy. Finally, I decided that I needed to design a simplified version of a muscle-based system. I got my pen and paper and began writing down the concepts for the system. During this process, I even went to the public library to find a quieter place where I could think and concentrate for longer periods. I started with the outline of the system, which are body joints and constraints between them. For constraints, I got my inspiration from the paper Advanced Character Physics by Thomas Jacobsen. He was using Verlet integration for interactive ragdolls. Since I already created a system with Verlet integration, it was something I can solve a problem with. Then, I worked on a system that manages support force over all joints based on the relation between center of mass and the center of contact surface. But still, there were too many joints, and I couldn't think of a simplified model to simulate it. I discarded this path to find a more simple approach. At this point I was really exhausted because it started to feel like I'm going nowhere, and I felt like writing the same sentences over and over again. To overcome the complexity, I split the system into upper body and lower body to solve each in isolation. For the lower body, I needed to apply support forces to the pelvis to keep the balance. This was the first responsibility to the balancer reflexes. Another one is creating new steps when the body can't balance itself, for example, leaning too much. Then I finalized the outlines of the system to finally write some code. I kinda lost a lot of time on this problem because it felt like I almost ended up where I started. While designing, I progressively complicated the system and then I simplified it. But in the end, I got the knowledge of how to implement the system. Jumping mechanics showed itself with the result of the change of the support force on the pelvis. The support forces are calculated in the balancer reflex action. The system immediately looked like more fun with the help of the non-deterministic behavior of a physics simulation. Then I went with step generation reflex to create new steps when an external force applied to the body. I noticed some organic behaviors from the character while keeping itself in balance. That meant I was on the right path. I modified the existing step path generation code to work with new requirements of the system. Generated path is applied to the foot joints, like animation keyframes. While a step path is playing, its simulation position on the Verlet integration solver is locked. 
This makes the feet can either be in free or fixed motion. Walking in a steady and stable motion required debugging and adding new cases to handle the anomalies of the system. Predicting the next step position also required calculating the trajectory of joints in the system. This was made possible by running an independent simulation on the copy system before creating each new step. I split the character movement state into walking, jogging and running. Each state has its own values for the system parameters. The values are interpolated when the input changes the target movement state. Stability of the system was getting chaotic as the speed of the character increased. Fastest football player can run around 10 meters per second. I slowly increased the top speed to 7 meters per second which was enough for now. Now I have a physics based character animation system in place that can walk, jog, run and jump. Next, I'll integrate the existing dribbler mechanics, including shooting. Afterward, I can finally implement the goalkeeper by completing the upper body components of the system, which will feature targeted arm and hand positioning for catching the ball. I'm also considering releasing an open alpha version that includes a game mode like a practice arena, where players can dribble and shoot against a goalkeeper. I believe this could be a valuable source of feedback for gameplay improvements and potentially serve as a platform for crowdfunding the project. What do you think? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And thank you to everyone who supports this project by spending time with me here. To boost my motivation, I remind myself that there are people waiting for updates. Thanks again. See you next time.